Hey everybody and welcome to Briar Rose Cottage. My name is Ray and it's another no brush hair day which is if you have been following my videos is quite a common thing um, for me to do. So I probably will not brush it until my hair is in my face so much it's driving me nuts and then I might just clip it back, right? Um, there's no need to be perfect every single day. So this week's upcoming video is going to be about making sense of these. Um, Kirk loved his video books. Um, no, now that I've made a mess. Ugh. <laughs> And these are actually really cool, these uh, storage binders for videos and things. They are cool. Um, they hold a ton of uh, videos in there. Uh, and uh, it, they take up so much less space on a shelf. Like, you can get 40 I'm thinking at least 40, maybe 50 videos in one of the, the ones I just held up and in, in space, <laughs> you know, so you can get like five of them across the shelf instead of the 250 videos won't do that. Um, the problem is, is Kirk did not make any rhyme nor reason of them before he passed away. I have never loved them. Um, at one time, I guess some of them had uh, little pieces of paper, had paper in it with a list of each of the videos in there. Um, not sure exactly what happened with those, but they're gone. And I like, I'm one of these people. I don't know whether or not it just comes, it's a sign of my age or whatever from being in libraries where I scan. You know, I used to finger to scan, and uh, so for me, um, it's just easier to do that with my DVDs and my uh, Blu-rays, etc. It's just, you know, and then I can put them in sections um, for whatever, it, like Marvel, and then we can do DC and rom-coms, you know, kind of do that type of thing, just comedies. Um, and Dave prefers that too, so uh, it's something I've been wanting to do, but haven't had a place to store all the videos. Um, lack of shelving, because I'm still wanting to get rid of this. It just is like two, about two and a half feet. It stands from the wall, so it's taking up a lot of living room space. And they are so deep, the shelves are so deep. It's perfect for what it was originally designed for, which was you put the TV in that middle piece, and then you can put all your VCRs and, and DVD players and game machines and things like that. It was perfect. I don't have that. Um, that's not a me kind of thing. So one of the things that I'm going to do is um, the stand that I've got the camera on right now. That thing right here, this thing here. Um, I no longer need, since I got rid of the big, big fish tank, I no longer need all the uh, fish stuff that's in the end of the of it. Um, and so I'm going to finish cleaning that stuff out. I have a bunch of paper and markers and everything. going to clean that bottom piece out. And then I'm going to fill it with all the videos um, in there to store for just a short period of time until I can get rid of this. And then... Um, I would put shelves along this, this, that, that wall's going to have shelves just wide enough for videos to keep the pussycats off, off them. Um, oh, slid. And then, yeah, and then, then they'll all go up there. It'll also help tell, uh, what doubles we have. 
because um, Dave had some of the same ones and I think inadvertently because I didn't realize I had it because it was in the book um, I doubled up on some night at the museum videos so um, some of the extras that doubled up are gonna go in the basement because um, uh, my brother is coming in December, so that's a big yay. We've decided Rob and I had, my helper Rob and I had a big powwow about where, what was the best to tackle to get a place for my brother to be sleeping in. Um, and because, yeah, he's... I don't want him on the couch and Dave's in the bedroom so you know it's not like I can sleep on the couch and Jeffrey can go in the bedroom this night. Um, so yes Rob and I had a discussion about whether or not upstairs or downstairs and Rob felt in his inf infinite wisdom and I, I rather agree with him after having the power. We're going to tidy up the basement in the next coming months. There's lots I can do by myself, but there'll be some stuff that'll be nice just to have somebody else come and um, help me go up and down stairs and things like this um, with stuff and get shelves cleaned out and potentially get some shelves built. I've scarfed some closet doors, old closet doors uh, to make shelves out for the basement. Um, and so I'm looking forward to doing that. But today's goal, and as I have a little list, is uh, tidy up the kitchen by getting the dishes done. Um, and there's just some that don't fit well in the dishwasher, so I'm going to start. I, I got to empty the dishwasher. Got a little bit on the counter still yet to put away because I was washing that by hand. And um, and then start loading the dishwasher again and get supper ready and the same yada 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 stuff because it's five o'clock um and that kind of thing dave's still at work and will be for a few more hours so um i do suggest that if you are like me and you're struggling with cleaning your house and organizing um that you check out remy clog here on youtube she's got a very positive attitude uh, which is very helpful for the group of us who are, um, we like things tidy. We absolutely like things tidy, but we are not the tidiest people in the world. We drop and put and things sit and that kind of thing. Um, and the way she talks about it and, and her, and living with her boyfriend and her two sons, um, her philosophy philosophy on all of it is just absolutely amazing um uh, it, it just sort of a, a much more relaxed approach to uh house cleaning it's like yeah you got to get it done but you don't beat yourself over it so yeah definitely i check out remy clog she's um uh oh, she she just re sort of Re, uh, reiterates, reinforces the idea of be kind to yourself. Sometimes it's better to get a little done and spend time with your fur babies or your partner or your kids or all, all of them than it is to worry about getting things perfect. Um, I had in some of the therapy sessions that I had that was talked about what was more important folding and putting away clothes or sitting and reading with kids playing with your kids spending time with your partner and it was it, it they suggested um, uh, to slow down and spend time with your people um, as a way to do that the laundry will still be there tomorrow, but as I've discovered and so many of us discovered, our persons, uh, our family members, our important people aren't always with us. So be kind to yourselves. <laughs> so there's the PSA. <laughs> um, 
And now to start lugging up, oh, well, back up. I'm a bit distracted today. I should clean and tidy that mess up over in there. Get that stuff moved. And then I can put some Gab Smolders on and watch. She's got a new Fay Farm, I think it's called. Um, and I can sit and watch that and have that on. Um, and put the books in the the videos in the cases. I am my brain. It's migraine. Welcome to the wonderful world of arthritic migraines. You can still function, but you're disoriented, distracted, can't focus. So Hoke, uh, focus, 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 focus. I'm going to say that a few more times and see if I can get my head together. Um, and <laughs> Bye. Okay, so that was easy. As you can see, the damage the fish tank did on the carpet uh, from leaking and that kind of stuff. I just so can't wait till I get rid of that carpet. It'd be so nice. Um, but yes, all of this is now cleaned. Um, this one here doesn't open. But yes, you can see arch stuff, tape, like paper, all sorts of stuff in that one. And then lots of fish stuff. But I have a ton of room in here that we can totally store um, the videos in and, and get them put away. Because right now I don't have, I have places I can potentially stick all this paper and everything, but I don't have places to stick all those movies. Far more movies than that little bit of stuff. Okay, so I'm back and as you can see, it is now empty. Hello, Gigi. That's Mummy's Morganas. It's empty. Um, I am sitting in my little... Yeah, there's more mess. There's oh, so much mess. I love this screen saver. This is so cool. But I brought up the, whoops, the first box um, to deal with all these books over here. And then later I'll figure out what I'm doing with the paper and, and stuff. But, yeah. So, working on organization, listening to a little gab on YouTube, and got zucchini doing its thing in the oven, marinated zucchini. That one's easy. Um, let's put it back on the fish. Uh, you just slice up zucchini. Um, if you don't let them grow huge, you don't get tough skins. You can actually eat the skin. Um, then you put it in a container or a Ziploc bag overnight. Um, oh yeah, if you don't let them get too big, then the seeds are either a very tender or there's almost no seeds because you haven't let it uh, grow long enough to develop seeds so and that makes it nice you get more fruit that way um zucchini being a fruit because it grows from a flower yes anything that grows from a flower is a fruit and anything that grows um from a seed um is a vegetable in the fruits and vegetables thing um so anyways, um, yes, yeah, so um, zucchini sliced, a zip up bag or container with a lid, and then just use like zesty Italian or regular Italian dressing, or the last one, it was a sun-dried tomato and something. Um, salad dressing that I've been using and very very good or you can make your own with your oils and your favorite spices and everything else and then um, you can you leave it sit for at least usually overnight 
and then you can either roast it in the oven. I'm slow roasting today because uh, being distracted, I don't want to kill them. Um, almost did that to the lasagna last night. Hey, Bastion. Um, anyways, um, so you can grill them, you can roast bake them in the oven you can turn them into foil put it in foil dinners that you put in your barbecue or your fire pit or whatever um and it's just really really uh really good uh the last time i did zucchini it was done out on my electric griddle outside so very tasty when you do zucchini up that way doesn't have to just be for in baking or deep frying. Okay, now back to Gab and my mess. Okay, so it's the day after the night before and it took me a really, really long time to go through stuff. I have, what, three rows there and that half of this cabinet is full. Um, got some doubles over here. Uh, gotta find the book that all these cartoon movies are in. Um, got that sort of stack there. And then these didn't have any movies to go with. So some of them are cartoon ones. So they're in that book wherever it went to. Need to find that. But yeah, it took a long time. Hours. <laughs> Definitely hours and hours, and I was up till the wee hours in the morning trying to get it finished. But I'm proud of myself, and I'm really glad that I actually did this. Because um, now Dave and I can sort through um, what's doubles and what's not. And um, I can take the doubles downstairs um, to put with the TV and a DVD player down there. So that's kind of cool that I have all that, you know. That I, I took the initiative, so ah, basically about nine nine boxes all together of various sizes, and um, got like eight done for sure. So, but it looks like there's more. <laughs> Always more.